Rocket Cadets and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to do the last in the stone painting series and I'm going to do a fruit cocktail collage. The reason I've chosen that is because I'm off on holiday next week. Now I will still be uploading a video for you to watch but for now let's go. So for this video I've split it up into different parts just to show you which order I did things and the first thing I did was on my canvas board I drew a pencil outline of um, a cocktail glass just a really simple shape before I then went in with my acrylic paints and did a sort of a gradient wash so it wasn't a thick layer of paint at all but I started off with yellow at the top and then about a third of the way down I went into pink and then the last third was blue so to get that nice even gradient I added a little bit of water and then blended the layers together so it wasn't a harsh line and then once this was dry I then went in with my black fine liner pen which is waterproof and just outlined the shape of the cocktail glass to make it stand out so I've used my acrylic paints again because um, they work really well on canvas and they dry really quickly. And the second part of this collage, I took the little pebbles, which are actually really tiny, and um, I painted them with a small round paintbrush. So the idea was that I would do a different fruit for each of the pebbles. So I sort of thought of ones that would be easy to draw and would give a variety of colour. So the first one I thought I'd do was a cherry and that's the dark red one. And the second one that I'm doing here is going to be a strawberry. So I did find that um, it was necessary to do two coats of paint just to give a nice even coverage. The third one, you can probably guess, is an orange. And this one is going to be a pineapple. So the green one I thought I would make into a kiwi. And then last of all, the one that kind of goes off camera a bit, is going to be a watermelon. So I would suggest when you're painting small little pebbles like these that you actually fix your pebbles onto your piece of newspaper or your table. And last week I used a piece of blue tack, which worked quite well. But I didn't do that this time for some reason. Anyway, once they were dry, I then went in and did a little bit more detail. And for the strawberry, I added some white acrylic paint and used my blending tool that I usually use for pastels. But I use this because it's got a nice sharp point to it and it's not a brush it's like made of silicon so it wasn't likely to um, splay out like a paintbrush would so this gave quite a nice effect I was quite pleased with that and on the cherry all I did add was a little bit of reflection on the kiwi, I imagine doing the inside of a kiwi, so imagine a kiwi cut in half and added um, some light green for the middle. And then at this point I decided it will be easier for the stalks of the fruit to use a green sharpie because you've got a lot more control with a the pen. They are permanent and it made it neater I think. Now the orange I was feeling that was going to be the best one but actually 
because of the size of it, it was really, really fiddly. And it was almost like putting makeup on an earthworm or something equally awkward. Not that you'd do that, but I found it super tricky. So first of all I tried with the white gel pen and then I went back to the white acrylic paint and using my blending tool and at the moment it kind of looks more like a wheel or a basketball or something. It did get better. <laughs> Now for the pineapple, I decided to use a bronze um, sharpie and kind of did a sort of a diamond shape on it. I thought it was a bit more interesting than just doing it brown or green and I quite like the effect. The only thing you do have to be a bit careful with, obviously with pebbles this tiny, is that when you pick them up or move them around, you don't then smudge the, the actual pebble that you've drawn or painted. So I'm having another go at the orange to try and make it look a bit more realistic. So I think it probably would have been easier if I'd just drawn the whole thing as the shape of an orange but I thought I'd be clever and do it as a segment. So again once they were dry I then thought it would be quite fun to give them little faces. So I went in with my black fine liner again and just did a really small face on each one of them and although you probably can't see it here they do all have different expressions I think you can see it better at the end when I show you the finished piece but this just added a bit of fun I also added things like the seeds on the kiwi and then once they were done I left them to dry and to finish off the canvas I decided to go in and just do a little um, lettering over the top of the cocktail glass. I had problems with my lettering last week um, but this time I just went straight in with my bronze sharpie and did a sort of a loopy loose um, lettering for the word holiday and then it was time to put it all together. So to fix the stones onto the canvas I used a glue gun And despite what it looks like, this is really effective. I think it was just heating up when I did the pineapple, but you do have to be quite careful because it really does stick really quickly. But I thought if it was something I was going to put on the mantelpiece or um, put up on the wall or something, they needed to stick fast. And this does work really well. I think the orange turned out okay in the end. And I think my favourite one was the watermelon. So just adding a little stalk to the cherry and then we were done. Well that's all for today our cadets, I hope you've enjoyed doing our last stone painting collage. If you have then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to join us next week also where there will be a video to watch 
and I will see you when I get back from holiday.